Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Fair Sport. For today's preview, as Scotland take on South Africa in South Africa's second Autumn Nations Series match on tour. After getting the win over Wales, you know, it's quite important to continue the momentum and a couple of changes uh, for the South Africans, although speaking of South Africans, quite a significant South African flavour for Scotland this weekend, as you probably sort of come to expect um, in the last couple of years. But it should be quite interesting. A lot of former teammates going um, head-to-head this weekend. And um, a couple of players in the Scottish side who might sort of want to be out there to try and sort of impress and, and try and not necessarily prove a point, but just sort of, you know, try and, and try and ensure that, it, that it's not a case of, you know, taking or going to play for Scotland was the easy route, but that they are genuine test match quality players. Um, so this is a, bit, a little bit of an extra sort of spice to the occasion itself. Um, and I think for the Springboks, a very different test to what they probably faced against uh, Wales a week ago. Um, Scotland as a side defend very differently from Wales. Um they play a much sort of higher tempo game style of rugby, quite a lot more expansive. Um, but I think that defence is something that, that Scotland don't get enough credit for. You know, whilst the Wales have always sort of been very uh, a, a very recognised defensive solid side um, and do defend quite flat. Um, Scotland, on the other hand, are much more sort of adapt to the situation and, and sort of much more um, sort of situationally defending and and players like Chris Harris for example that outside centre this weekend is going to have a very very important job in terms of nullifying the Springmark backline which is going to be led by the likes of Alton Yankees who is starting at fly hard before we look at the T's please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well we'll start with the Springmark so we kind of know exactly what to expect because there never are too many changes to the Springmark squad and just the one change to the pack which sees Franco Master coming in the number 5 jersey Lua Diago dropping down to the bench probably one of the strongest benches in in Springbok rugby history, really. Um, but the front row of Oxen Chair, Bongi Manambi, and Trevor Nyukani will continue where they left off. They were completely dominant against Wales in albeit just the two scrums that they managed last weekend. Um, it's a bit of no issues there. And the loose trio of Sia Khaleesi, Kwaka Smith, and Dwayne Vermeulen really is starting to complement each other very, very nicely. We saw another stellar performance in the likes of Kwaka Smith last weekend. And Sia Khaleesi is just sort of banging any door down that there is left at the moment. Um, the two Yankees will be a partnership this weekend. They are roommates and they will be playing um, at 9 and 10, Herschel and Alton. Uh, a big game for Alton Yankees who I think has an opportunity, probably for the first time really, to try and sort of make quite a big statement. Uh, I think we're all quite aware that Andre Pollard is not currently firing on all cylinders. And this is, if there were ever an opportunity for Alton Yankees to try and sit there saying, you know what, I can offer something different. I can actually try and push for this number 10 jersey. This could potentially be the opportunity. The conditions are quite good in Scotland. Obviously, he will have to play within the Springbok system. But definitely brings a lot of different things to the game that, that Pollard doesn't. And, you know, an opportunity to try and sort of express himself. Um, elsewhere in the back line, Makazuma Pimpi and Desi Creel continue to be the two wings. Damon Day, Lindy, Lacanya, I'm no changes there. But the injury to Damien Willems, that means that Billy LaRue is recalled into the side. No upper fast this weekend. Um, France Dane continues to play his rugby off the bench after a man of the match contribution off the bench um, a week ago. The bomb squad bench is Malcolm Mark, Stephen Kitzel, and Vincent Koch, Lut Diaga, and Jasper Wies. It is a 5-3 split, so not quite the traditional bomb squad, um, but still very much looking for that impact off the bench. Kubus Reyna, Andre Pard, Franz Stein, um, tremendous experience and, and just qu- quality and class coming off the bench ready for the spring marks. They really do have a quality 23 and some very good players who can sort of come on and change the game if needed in the latter stages. For Scotland, some very, very good players. Quite a lot of British and Irish Lions players and as I said, very much a South African flavour to the 15. And that starts in the front row with number one at Jersey. Pierre Skuman will be up against former Bulls teammate in Trevor Nyukani. Um, McAnally as well will be, is, is a very talented um Hooker, and he's next to Xander Ferguson, who obviously was on the British and Irish Lions tour. So it's a pretty strong front row from Scotland. I think that if you watch the Scotland versus Australia game a week ago, the pack itself was very, very impressive. And, you know, that always comes down to it. You know, at the end of the day, if the pack can give you forward dominance, it'll allow what are both very talented backlines to try and sort of grow into the game a little bit more. The second row combination for Scotland is Sam Skinner and Grant Gilchrist. And no space for Hamish Watson in the loose trio. He's on, going to be on the bench this weekend. The loose trio is then Nick Haining, Jamie Ritchie, and Matt Ferguson. Ali Price, Finn Russell. Um, those two as well, Stuart Hogg, will be absolutely massive for Scotland. You know, they've had a lot of rugby sort of around those 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 three players. And Ali Price and Finn Russell, both British and Irish Lions, um, players uh, in, during the series. And I think Finn Russell, just in that, that last test opportunity he had, kind of sort of showed the, the class he is. And when Finn Russell is on song and he sort of turns up the heat, 
he can change the test match on its head. Um, a very, very impressive operator when he is playing his best rugby. Um, elsewhere, if you look at the um, the wings, it is Duan van der Merwe and Rufus McLean. The centre pairing will be Matt Scott and Chris Harris. I'm a massive Chris Harris fan. I think he's very, very um, underrated. Um, probably the best defensive outside centre in the world. And he'll have his hands full with trying to defend the likes of him, Pimpi, Alakanyam, Damon Delendi, um, and Vili Leroux coming as he joins the line. And then Stuart Hogg will lead the side. He is a player... For the occasion, and I think when Stuart Hogg plays best best rugby, he can single handedly win you a game. He can be that good. One of my favorite players to watch when he's playing well is Stuart Hogg. Uh, full of passion, full of class, full of um, everything you want in a rugby player, really. And I think he, you know, if, if Scotland not to give South Africa a real go this weekend, I think he will definitely be a major player and a major factor, especially if the Sparks do sort of go to the kicking game. His ability under the high ball will be tested to the max, but he is a very, very composed player. And I think he'll. Um, probably be quite and we will be quite important this weekend off the bench for the Scots. It is um, Ewan Ashman, uh, Jamie Batty, and Ollie Cable. Um, elsewhere, Jamie Hodgson and Hamish Watson will cover the rest of the scrum. And then you've got uh, George Horn, Adam Hastings, and Blair King on coming off the bench covering the back line. Adam Hastings is also a very, very classy player, been through it all. Um, lots of experience there for him. Um, and and you know, it's it's difficult, uh, Trying to sort of get into the side ahead of the likes of a of 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 a Finn Russell, but um, Adam Hastings, you know, twenty five years old, um, sort of coming into his best years. Really, he's already got um, over twenty Scotland caps um, to his name. Um, plays his rugby at Glister now this, this season, so I think you know taking those big steps in his in his in his, his career to sort of really go to the next level. Um, but he is quite an experienced player, despite only being twenty five years old. And uh, very interested to see what he can bring on when he does come on later in the game. And um, in terms of referees, Angus Garner will be the referee in the middle this weekend, which will upset quite a lot of South Africans. But I do think we need to move away from worrying about referees and even talking about referees. You know, it's becoming a very it's just a bit of a boring rhetoric, isn't it? And a conversation to keep harping on about officials. At the end of the day, we just need to pitch up and play some rugby and try and enjoy ourselves. Um, but let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. I do think it'll be quite a, a tight game. Uh, and when tight games, when games are tight, Scotland do t- um, often tend to 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 sometimes come on the other end. We saw, you know, previously they've you know put, launched an aerial assault and beaten England. They beat some very big teams in the last couple of games and beat Australia last weekend. So it will be a very very stern test for the Springboks, but hopefully one that they can overcome. And then it's the big one of England next weekend. But let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. We'll obviously be live for the game, so come and hang out with us during the watch long. If you were looking to how to watch the game, check out our channel. We've got a, um, the pin video on our channel is a tutorial on how you can watch the Amazon Prime for free using ExpressVPN. Uh, apart from that, I'll see you guys this weekend. Take care and see you soon.